to abolish the distinction between I and you is the sole purpose of all spiritual endeavour. There is one unchanging, indivisible reality, which, though unmanifest, reveals itself in infinite multiplicity and diversity. That one, the Supreme Truth, is ever-present everywhere, in all circumstances, referred to as Brahman, or the Absolute Reality. It is no other than God Almighty. It is nameless and formless, yet all names and forms are that. It is the father, mother, guru, friend, creator, preserver, destroyer, everything. Its essence is being, consciousness, bliss. Indeed, it is in everything, and everything is in that. There is nothing but that. Try to see God in everything and in everybody, including yourself. This truth is revealed in some guise even in individuals supposed to be sinners, as also in suffering, seemingly unbearable. The divine is eternally enthroned in the hearts of all beings. Truly, it dwells everywhere. Having seen that, attained to that, everything is seen. Everything attained. This means to become fearless, certain, free from conflict, Immutable, imperishable.
As long as one remains floating on the surface, there are bound to be differences of religion, sect, and so on. But if by some means one is able to dive down into the depths, it will be seen that the essence of things is one. that truth and love are one and the same. In the event of true realisation, one can have no quarrel with anyone. One is fully enlightened as to all faiths and doctrines and sees all genuine paths as equally good. Although the ultimate truth is ever-present within as well as without, it is necessary to keep this remembrance awake in all one's thoughts and actions for the tendencies or samskaras acquired in countless former births bind one with such force that the quest of truth does not come easily. Keep a strict watch over everything you do. How you eat sleep, move about and sit. For the sake of realizing truth, sit perfectly still for at least a few minutes every day, letting the mind be empty. Adhere to this practice in order to become fixed in yoga. Devote yourself to the practice that will provide you with the capacity to remain undisturbed under all circumstances.
practice spiritual discipline. In other words, go to one's real home. If the mind is not turned in that direction, there will be foolishness, misery, suffering. As if by compulsion, the mind runs after the gratification of desires that bring suffering. The mind has become uncontrollable. By the practice of meditation, this illness can be cured. 